So what about natural birthing? So whenever a baby's being delivered through the birth canal, that's when it gets its first big, basically, meal of probiotics. It's that first meal. That's, that's the most important meal in anyone's life as far as your microbiome is concerned. It helps establish all the colonies throughout your digestive system. And you can see here, one in three births are by C-section. So those are babies that aren't getting that first dose of probiotics. Not only that, but during C-sections, we also give the mother antibiotics. So what little bacteria those babies do have, they get dosed with antibiotics and wiped out even more. And then we wonder, you know, these babies that don't have a strong microbiome, why, why are they getting ear infections all the time? Why are they sick all the time? Why are they getting strep throat? It's because their immune system's so compromised. Over 80% of your immune system resides in your gut. And when that's out of balance, it can throw all, everything out haywire. So I pulled up some statistics. So for the whole United States, it's one in three. So 33% here at Armstrong. The latest statistics I could find were from 2008. But we have a 38% of C-section rate. Other hospitals in the area, like Clarion, have over 50%. And they're delivering hundreds and hundreds of babies yearly. So this is a big problem. So back in the day, they were all vaginal births. They all started life with a healthy microbiome. So what, is, is there still hope for these babies? So, so what about breastfeeding? Very important. It is, it is very important. So this is another way that the mother can give probiotics to her baby. So you actually do provide bacteria to your baby through breast milk. So, you know, Back in probably a couple hundred years ago, everyone breastfed. If they couldn't breastfeed, then someone else in the family or in the community would provide milk for the baby. Nowadays, only 79% of newborns receive breast milk. I looked up the CDC statistics, and they said babies should be fed breast milk for the first 12 months at least. And then you can incorporate whole foods with breast milk from there. And you can see, not even, half of the peop not even half of the babies are getting breast milk at six months. And only a quarter are reaching the recommended time frame. You know, I'm not, I'm not suggesting you guys, you know, if you were born via C-section, if you weren't breastfed, if you were a formula-fed baby, I'm not suggesting you go back and do that. Let's not be ridiculous. <laughs> you're, you're way too big for that. <laughs> but, you know, we need to realize that you know, if these things did happen, or if you have children where this, this was the case, you know, they might need some extra help. They might need some extra support. 